Hello and welcome to highlights of stage nine of the Giro Donne. 112.8 kilometers today from San Michele Aladigo to San Lorenzo d'Orsino. The early climb, the Fai della Paganella. They would then head over the Passo Duron, head in towards the finish in San Lorenzo, where they would uh, pass the finish in the opposite direction, out up the Passo de Onno, the Chima Coppi, the highest point of this year's race before the descent and a two and a half kilometer climb up towards the line. Annemiek van Vleuten started today with a 2.13 vantage ahead of Marta Cavalli and 3.42 over Mavi Garcia. At the head of the race, it was the young Italian Guy Realini in the red and white of Isomac Pramac Vittori and Kristen Faulkner of Team Bike Exchange, who had started the day fourth in the Queen of the Mountains classification. Green jersey, though, of Elise Chabet was on the defensive. The chasing group of Chapman, Costa, Brand and Magnaudi was still in the gap between our two leaders and the uh, Malia Rosa group, which was being led by Team SD Works. They were looking to try and set things up for the white jersey, the best young rider in the race of Neve Fisher Black. On to the Paso de Honor, the Chima Copy. 6.2 kilometers in length, 11.2 average, maxing out at 18.1%. Our two leaders were looking good to try and take the breakaway all the way to the finish. Marta Cavalli on the climb, came through to the front. Van Vleuten, Garcia and Longo Borghini, the only riders to stay with her. But the consistent pressure of the young Italian rider would eventually crack the legs of uh, Garcia. As they headed towards the summit, Faulkner decided that the time to go was now. She attacked towards the summit. And with the Chima Copy Prize at the summit, she would make the Queen of the Mountains jersey not only her own for tomorrow, but with only one Category 3 climb to come, she would run out the winner of that classification. Over the top and on the descent, Marta Cavalli put the pressure on Annemiek van Vleuten and started to pull clear. She put the Malia Rosa under pressure. Elisa Longo Borghini, after another incredible descent, made her way back up to Cavalli, who was caught by Van Vluten with 15.7 kilometers to go. Longo Borghini, who had started today seven minutes and three seconds down on the general classification, but 3.21 down on the third spot of the podium. Garcia behind was under pressure. Heading in towards the finish, and on the descent, Longo Borghini took Cavalli clear while ahead. Kristen Faulkner went through one kilometre to go. The winner of the time trial on the opening day was looking good for another stage victory. Cavalli was throwing everything that she could at Annemiek van Vleuten. And then a great finish. She would take back some seconds. Not enough, though, to pull back the Malia Rosa. But at the head of the race, Kristen Faulkner came through for her second stage victory of this year's Giro Donne. And with it, she would take the Queen of the Mountains jersey. Marta Cavalli, great finish, just inside a minute behind Kristen Faulkner, while behind her, Elisa Longo Borghini would take third spot on the podium, and Annemiek van Vluten still secure in the pink jersey, the Malia Rosa, with one day to go. The American rider Kristen Faulkner, what a season she is having. Takes it from Marta Cavalli and Elisa Longo Borghini, Van Vluten, Realini, Fisher Black, Persico, Labus, Garcia and Magnaudi, the top ten. Another day, another Malia for Annemiek van Vleuten with one day to go. Looking like our champion-elect and her third career Giro Donne overall victory. It should be a day for the sprinters on stage 10. 90 and a half kilometers from Amano. Terme to Padua. Don't miss it.